Hi, I'm Stefan Milo, and I'd like to thank Angulimations for working with me on this video. The introduction of smallpox and other diseases into the new world triggered what is probably the deadliest epidemic in human history. But what is smallpox, and how did it change the destiny of North and South America forever? Smallpox is a virus that absolutely cripples the human immune system. The most obvious symptom are the pox that cover your body, hence smallpox. No one knows for sure how long it's been around, but it's at least 16,000 years, and maybe even as long as 60,000, and it probably evolved from some African rodents. Now, over so many thousands of years, people in the old world built up a resistance, but even amongst resistant populations, it can still be fatal as much as 30% of the time. So you can imagine the devastation it could cause to a vulnerable population. Smallpox was first brought to the Americas by a conquistador named Narvaez, who had been sent to arrest Cortes in 1520. In a battle with Cortes, the disease was passed to his troops. Now, when Cortes returned to Tenochtitlan, the Aztec capital, which he was trying to take control of, the city was in full revolt, because when you kidnap an emperor and massacre all the priests and nobles, people tend to get pretty annoyed. But that's a different story. Cortes was forced to flee the city, losing hundreds of men, but crucially leaving behind smallpox. The disease ravaged the city for 60 days, killing at least 50% of the population. Whole families were killed and there was no one left to bury the dead. Houses were just pulled down on top of the corpses. Needless to say, this made it much easier for the Spanish to take control of the Aztec Empire. Similarly, with the Inca, smallpox left a trail of destruction and opened them up to Spanish attacks. Smallpox was introduced by Francisco Pizarro in 1526, and due to the efficiency of the Inca road network, the disease spread rapidly. Killing the emperor and his son, the disease also triggered a civil war as to who would be the new Sapa Inca or emperor. By the time Pizarro returned in 1532, war and disease had raged for years, allowing the Spanish to quickly take control of the empire. The Incan Empire had a pre-war population of 6 to 14 million people, but an estimated 95% of the population was killed by disease in the following wars. Smallpox was not just introduced by accident, though. In 1763, during the French and Indian War, the British and Fort Pitt were under threat from a large gathering of different Native American tribes. A delegation of Indians led by Shinges, Wingenum, and Grey Eyes approached the British, hoping to negotiate a peaceful resolution. However, this failed, and a siege of the fort began. During the siege, the British offered two blankets and one handkerchief from their smallpox hospital as a gift to the Native Americans. Although we don't know exactly how fatal it was, it was considered very effective at reducing the Native American war effort. So there you have it. That's a brief introduction to the effect of smallpox in the Americas. Swoop. Just want to pause the animation here for a second. I'm here at Kathlapotl, a reconstruction of a Chinook village. And the story of this village is really the story of the spread of smallpox in North America. It didn't just affect these vast civilizations like the Aztecs and the Incas in Southern America. It really affected every native population across the whole of these two continents. Founded in 1450, at the height of its population, Cathlapotl had around seven to eight hundred people. Now, at the time of the Lewis and Clark expedition, this was just one of 18 other villages in this area. So we're talking a population that could sustain thousands and thousands of people. And these were not nomads, these were sedentary people with their own civilization, and they were able to be sedentary thanks to the abundant resources of the Pacific Northwest. However, unfortunately, by 1770, smallpox arrived on the scene and killed about 30% of the population in this area. And that's not just 30% distributed equally, you know, the young would die, the old would die, whole villages would be wiped out. And Kathlapotl served as a bit of a refuge for survivors of other outbreaks in other villages. The people were able to continue living here for another 60 years and they lived their traditional way of life and traded furs with European settlers. But unfortunately by 1830, there was another outbreak, this time possibly of malaria, but we don't know for sure. And Cathlapotl was almost wiped out. The survivors moved on to reservations and 
the Native American population in this area just dramatically declined. So it really illustrates just how devastating these diseases were and it's, it's such a tragedy that the first contact between Europeans and Native Americans caused this absolute devastation. And not that the Europeans did anything to help it, but back to the animation. Swoop. I'm not quite sure how to end a video where millions of people die, but if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to my channel, Stefan Milo, and of course, Anguilla Mations. See ya!